You're looking live at the Space Coast. SpaceX is gearing up right now to launch its next round of Starlink Internet satellites into orbit. This is a perfect time to do it. Mark Lehman is out there and he said we can look for the jellyfish effect oh. this morning. That means if the sun is rising just perfectly, mm -hmm. I don't know. We'll see. We'll look for it. Mm -hmm. We're seconds away from the 542 launch attempt from the Kennedy Space Center now. All right, so right now there are 53 satellites on top of that Falcon 9 rocket. A really cool part about this launch, the first stage of the rocket has been used 11 times in the past, including six Starlink missions as well as the Crew 2 demo. So let's take you now live to the Cape for the countdown. T minus 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition. And lift off. Vehicle is pitching down range. One D chamber pressure is nominal. And Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Launch Complex 39A, carrying our 53 Starlink satellites. Although at liftoff, gravity is pulling straight down on the rocket. As we ascend, we'll tilt the engines, technical term is gimbling, and that turns the rocket horizontally. We're still going up, but now we are also heading horizontally away from the launch pad. It's what we call a gravity turn. Moments ago, we throttled the engines down in preparation for max Q. We're in the throttle bucket. Falcon 9 is supersonic. Max Q is the point during which the vehicle is under maximum dynamic pressure. Max Q. There, we've passed through max Q. Coming up are a series of a quick series of events happening in quick succession. First, Miko or main engine cutoff. This is where the nine Merlin engines on the first stage shut off to slow the vehicle down in preparation for the next milestone, stage separation. This is where the first stage separates from the second stage. As Start event back chill. As the first stage starts to make its way back to Earth for landing, the second stage continues its journey with SES one or second engine start one. This is where the single Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage lights up and propels the second stage along with the Starlink satellites into orbit. About 30 seconds out from that Miko. As the rocket heads up into space, you'll start to see the plume at the aft end of the rocket begin to spread out. That's as the pressure alleviates from, from the bottom of the recoil. You can, uh, there isn't as much pressure holding in that plume. There we saw main engine Miko. cut off. Call out for Miko. Stage separation confirmed. And back ignition. Bearing separation confirmed. And we just saw main engine cutoff, stage separation, second engine startup, and fairing deploy. With the fairing half separated, the satellites are now exposed to the vacuum of space above the second stage of the rocket on the right hand side of your screen there. While the second stage is doing its job, the first stage is coming back to home to Earth and will execute two burns. The first is the entry burn. It's a three engine burn that helps to slow the stage down. The second, second burn is the landing burn. It's a single engine burn that helps bring the vehicle speed down rapidly in order to land on our drone ship a shortfall of gravitas, which is the equivalent to a size of a football field.